my name is Darlene, and Mankey was my family name, and Simpson and Brown were my married names, and my daughter refers to me as Darlene many names. And so that's who I am. I thought maybe random recollections in search of a theme would be the best. And something did come to mind because I've just spent a month in South Dakota at a family reunion. So at this moment I'm thinking in terms of reunion. Recently, 70 descendants of my paternal grandparents gathered in the Black Hills in South Dakota. And we do that to renew kinship and to revisit home sites and to revisit family history. A major career in counseling and teaching, a minor one in music, and a long history of volunteerism and activism. Active in union affairs in bargaining and I think uh, possibly I was raised in a union family, so I was very much involved in bargaining when unionizing for teachers was not at all popular, and it isn't popular today, I don't think. I had a long period of probably grief because I had lost a husband, I had retired, I had moved, and I had had knee surgery all in three months, and most folks would say that's a bit of trauma to to do that all at one time. And I have three children all in their 50s. I have six, six, yeah, six grandchildren ranging in age from 13 to 26, and no great-grandchildren yet. There are reunions I've had with the folks that I was in the graduate program with, and, and during these, these past 20 years, I also went back to the first reunion I ever attended of the people I went to college with. The issue of music in my life, it took me many, many years to realize that it was my mother's dreams. And as a mother, there's actually a picture behind you on a shelf of little Darlene in her Shirley Temple dress with permanent curls and a big bow because my mother, like many mothers of that day, wanted their little girls to look like Shirley Temple. I would like to be remembered uh, for, for being a good person. When I, the first person I told that I did not want to be a musician was one of these teachers that I said was a piano teacher. And, and he said, and he was Russian, so I can't speak as he spoke with his accent, but he said, it doesn't matter, darling. If you ever play the piano again, what matters is you keep your good heart.